Lazar Snow, actor and coach. It's my intention each week to share something inspirational and tangible with you that you can use on your own performance journey. This week, I'd like to share part five of a recent interview with Ethan Paulini. People having difficulty finding an agent, would you recommend looking for a manager first? No, I don't, I don't, I mean, I think a manager, because a manager can't, doesn't have the same sort of ability to pitch and submit as an agent does. And I think that the, another, just to go back to that whole, like, what are the, the common mistakes sometimes people make mm -hmm. is they think that all the, that all it takes is one, one reaching out one time to an agent. Mm -hmm. Like people go, Oh, well, I sent out a bunch of cover letters and headshots and resumes and the no agent got back to me. Well, no, because agents also have to deal with, their current clients. So they can't just get a headshot and drop everything and pick up the phone. Yeah. And also you don't know what pile you've ended up in they, they might, they might go twice a year. We meet, we have a new client night and we rent a studio and we, and that a lot of agents do it that way. And we'll, we'll, we'll meet with those potential new clients. Well, if that happened last month and the next one isn't for five months, they might put you in a pile and call you in four and a half months. Yeah. But, it's our job in that time to continue to keep, stay on their radar. So sending them a postcard, sending them, so once we, once we sent them a couple hard copy mail things, emailing them, I got this call back. I got called in by this office. I'm in this concert at 54 below. I'm in this lab presentation of a new musical. I'm, you know, things to show that, hey, look at how relevant I am. Look at what I'm able to accomplish without you. Imagine if, if, if we coupled that with your uh, industry ex expertise. So I think that it's a little bit of like patience and persistence that people sometimes lack. So it's not, um, so I don't think that, I mean, I think if, if you have something to manage, I always feel like the manager thing is if you do other things, like I wrote a show. And I didn't know the first thing about what I was like when people would try and book that show, I was like, okay, but I don't know how much I'm supposed to get paid for that. It, uh, it, it can be helpful to have them manage that very specific thing. But, um, but that comes later. I think that comes once you've, you know, once you've built the relationships where instead of waiting for a role to be created, they, that manager is then tasked with pitching you to a creative person to create something to sell. Okay. You know? so. Great. That's so helpful. Thank you so much. Well, thank you so, so much for joining us today. It's, I, there's so many helpful nuggets in there. Um,